In Singapore, we have a lot of hip, cool cafes. But did you know that the cafe scene in JB is pretty dope too? I'm here in Johor Bahru, Malaysia, the city centre. Now this has the highest concentration of cafes and really cool shops, all within walking distance of one another. All these cafes, right, are kind of interspersed with old school shops. Some cafes even have like large, gorgeous spaces, which is kind of rare in Singapore. And also the prices, come on, the ringgit. If that's not enough for you to come to JB to cafe hop, I don't know what is. So I'm here at the replacement lodge and kitchen. This place is gorgeous. Coming in here, you feel immediately relaxed, like an oasis of calm. I love the whole interior, the combination of marble, concrete and wood. Look at this floor-to-ceiling glass window. It lets in natural light. It's great for food photography. You don't really have to worry so much about lighting. Just don't please, don't put your food on the floor. You might be tempted because the tiles are beautiful, but don't do that. They're known for their coffees. This is one of the three specialties. It's supposed to be sugary and rich, caramel and light savory undertones flavors of chrysanthemum, lemon, honey, apricot, and Earl Grey tea. Who would have known that coffee would have all those flavours? I thought it was just bitter. And look at this! It's so cute! There's even a scarf for this coffee flask so I don't burn my fingers. This is one of the cafes I discovered called Bev C and I like it because it is a double shop. There is a boutique downstairs and a cafe upstairs. I sometimes shop here because I like the designs. They're simple, classic cut and they're quite unique. And they are in ringgit. This is really nice guys. The light is perfect. One of the specialties of Bevsi is the coffee ice cube. It's like chocolate at the bottom to add a bit of sweetness. Now what I like about the drinks here is that they use the drink to make the ice. So even when the ice melts, you don't get a diluted drink. It's still pretty... Gao. Gao means it's super rich and thick. None of that diluted crap. Okay, so we're here at Ehe Cafe. Uh, at least I think that's how you pronounce it. <laughs> it's an art museum and it's pretty different from what the other cafes are like. This is the upstairs area of Ehe Cafe and we got to walk through this to get to the nice part of the cafe. Welcome to a dead person's bedroom. Dead person from the 18th century. Gotta be careful not to get your eye poked by all these things. And then we go to the side. Oh, it's kind of changed a little. Oh my god, the cafe is no longer here but there's wall art. This huge mural is done using pencil scratchings and paint. Imagine using a pencil, you know, and drawing this whole bloody wall. When I used the pencil, I was seven years old. And I certainly did not do this. And definitely not the whole wall. It's beautiful. This place I really, really like. This is the Hyapju Bakery. It's been around since 1919. Famous for its coconut buns. The queues can get really long and the coconut buns can get sold out really quickly. This is the first time I've ever seen coconut buns in the bakery, so I better go get some. You see, they have other kinds of breads here, right? But the only one that gets sold out is this baby right here. A whole tray of coconut buns, so I'm gonna get that one. One whole packet for 3 70 and it's so hot. Can you see the steam? It just came out of the oven. Ah, it looks so bloody freaking good. This oven is highly Instagrammable. I love it. It's been around since 1919, okay? You don't see something like that anymore. It's just so simple. Are you ready for this? Come on in, come on in, check this out. Oh. The secret behind these babies is that the coconut was fried over wood fire for over hours of just frying until everything dries up. It's super moist, savory and sweet at the same time. It is what it is. Let's not try to complicate it. I'm not gonna lie to you that this is like... No, it is mind-blowing. <laughs> it is mind-blowing. It's pretty good. Mm. Mm. Alright, I'm here at Sankaya. This is an ice cream chain from Malaysia. This place specializes in coconut ice cream served in its shell and it's even got fresh coconut flesh in it. The toppings are free flow. I get to choose three, but I get to put as much as I want. Once you get to the bottom of the ice cream, you get to the flesh. A generous amount. And this is what I call a happy payoff. But why wait till you get to that point? Dig it up like I did. <laughs> and enjoy it straight away. Mm. You know, it doesn't have to be complicated. Cotton candy and like wafers and everything into your ice cream. When you make it this well, simple is good enough. We have winded up at Sea and Saw. This is a beautiful sprawling space just by the sea. It's about like five to eight minutes drive from the area we were at. I love coming here at the end of the day at sunset because the light here is just gorgeous. It takes me away from the idea that I'm in JB. Just generally the peaceful vibe that this place brings. They even have a bar here. They've got some craft beers here. They also have some pretty like dodgy alcohol. This looks like a punishment in a bottle. Like it could make you miserable until the day you die. That's the reason why he hides it behind everything. 
everything else. You can even sit inside here. <laughs> Sometimes they would have DJ, live acts, just a whole bunch of people chilling out at the beer garden. And this pretty much concludes my day in JB Town. One thing to note though, most of these places only accept cash. So the average spend per cafe, if you're gonna order like a pie and a coffee, will be about 25 to 30 ringgit. If you go to Cafe Hop, bring that wad of cash. Food wise, I wouldn't say these cafes are great for food. I would still just go chill for the vibe, have a drink, or maybe a pie or a cake, and then just leave the food to the serious hawker centers in JB, like in Taman Sentosa on the Brow or something. Okay, that's all I have for you. Hope you enjoyed the episode. If you want to check out more of my pictures from JB, you can go to my Instagram, it's at Hey Ross. All the location tags are there. Don't forget to download the Click Network app so you can actually watch the episodes up to a month before they hit YouTube. And of course, follow us on Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat. Till the next episode, bye. And I let you in And I opened up When I closed the door